What is up everybody, JT Dangerously here once again and I am back to do my 2020 NBA Playoffs first round predictions. Now with the bubble regular season and the playing game in the books, we are now into my favorite part of the NBA season and where it really matters the most and that's the NBA Playoffs and the road to the NBA Finals begins now and it starts right here in the first round so I am extremely excited to do my first round predictions of the 2020 NBA Playoffs for you guys this year. You guys already know the deal, I'll be making picks from the first round all the way up to the NBA Finals. So sit back, relax, grab something to drink and eat, and grab your favorite NBA jersey, and I hope you guys do enjoy. Now our record last year in the NBA Playoffs was outstanding. We went 11-4, and four, and our overall NBA Playoff record on the channel is 37-9. and nine. So we're coming in extremely hot, like a volcano plus a supernova, and I'm looking to keep it that way. So hope in this video we will continue the Red Hot winning ways. We're on a three-year winning streak. Hope in this video we make it number four. Hopefully. Now, if you guys haven't checked out my SummerSlam and NXT TakeOver predictions video yet, definitely go check them out if you haven't. This is the third and final video of the day. So, I hope you guys are able to watch this video and all the videos that I put up on the channel. This is the Summer of Dangerously. So, show your support as always, guys, by watching these videos. Super kicking those like buttons, hitting that notification bell, and commenting your picks, your opinions, and representing your NBA teams in the comment sections down below. Now, if this is your first time watching my channel today, guys, as a first-time viewer, and this is your first video, boy, pick the going if you're a huge fan of the NBA like myself, and you're ready for the first round of the 2020 NBA Playoffs. Welcome to the Dangerous Lions. I'm JT Dangerously. Welcome to the club, because this club is... Just, just two. Woo-woo! Again, thank you guys so very much. Now, other than that, let's get right into these first-round predictions. Let's start off in the Eastern Conference with the number one seed in the East, the team that had the best record in the NBA, the Milwaukee Bucks, facing the Orlando Magic. Now, this is only the second postseason meeting between the Bucks and the Orlando Magic. Now, the Bucks won the last postseason meeting over the Magic back in the 2001 Eastern Conference first round. Now, starting off with the Bucks, they are coming off their heartbreaking loss in six games in the Eastern Conference Finals last year to the Toronto Raptors, and the Bucks team this year is looking to erase what happened last year and make a deep run into the playoffs this this year and if you thought the Bucks were good last year this Bucks team this year is good I mean they did get the best record in the NBA and they got a talented uh, uh, amount of great players and when they say fear the deer you best fear them this year with players like Eric Bledsoe, Wesley Matthews, Chris Middleton, the Greek freak Giannis Antetokounmpo who I think will win the MVP this year and the Lopez twins so if you think the Bucks are going to be a long shot in winning it you best be wrong because they are a lot of people's pick to quite possibly win the NBA championship this year and it's going to take a very good team to beat them. There is idea of the Orlando Magic making their return to the playoffs for the first time since 2018 and they're looking to end a long losing streak in the first round. Now here's a dangerous fact. Since their last first round victory back in 2009 which that team went to the NBA Finals the Magics are 0-3 in the first round, so they're looking to end this long losing streak. Now, this Magics team had to scratch and claw to get this 8th spot in the East, and they got it done with some great players like Aaron Gordon, like Evan Fournier, Markel Fultz, the former number one pick from Kentucky, DJ Augustine, Nikola Vujicic, and uh, Michael Carter-Williams. So, if the Magics are looking to pull off the second biggest upset in NBA history, they're going to have to bring all the magic they can. So coming from me in this Eastern Conference first round showdown, I can see the series going five, maybe a four game sweep, but coming from me, like I said, it's going to take a very good team to beat this Bucks team this year. So coming from me, I'm going to go with Giannis and the Bucks to defeat the Orlando Magic. And now the next first round showdown between the Miami Heat facing off against the Indiana Pacers. Now this is the fifth postseason meeting between the Indiana Pacers and the Miami Heat. The Miami Heat lead the postseason series 3-1. to one. Now the Heat have won the last three meetings against the Pacers in the playoffs back in 2012, 2013, and 2014. And the Pacers' last victory over the Heat in the postseason was all the way back in the 2004 Eastern Conference Semifinals. Now starting off with the Heat first, they're coming off, uh, they are back in the playoffs for the first time in three years, and this Heat squad is looking to heat it up in the Eastern Conference by getting a big victory. When you got some great players on this team after Dwayne Wade left, I mean you got Kendrick Nunn, Duncan Robinson, Jimmy Butler, Bam Adebayo, Kelly Olenek, Jay Crowder, Goran Dragas. This Heat team is really good, even after Dwayne Wade retired, and now he's on NBA on TNT. But this Heat team can get it done, and they had one hell of a regular season this year. 
There is idea of the Indiana Pacers who are making their return back to the playoffs for the first time since 2018, and they are also looking to end a long losing streak in the first round. Now, here's another dangerous fact. Since the Pacers' last first round victory back in 2013, they are 0-4 in the first round. So they're looking to end this losing streak now and making and make sure this losing streak doesn't continue into next year. But this Pacers team looked really good. I mean, you got players like Victor Oladipo, TJ Warren, who really caught fire in that bubble regular season, Miles Turner, Malcolm Brogdon, and Demonis Sabonis. So the Pacers have a chance to quite possibly end their losing streak, or they're going to fall flat once again. It seems like the Pacers do that a lot, and they haven't been the same team since Reggie Miller and Rick Smiths left that team back in the 90s. So coming from me in this first round showdown... I can see this series going six, maybe seven, but coming from me, I'm going to go with Jimmy Butler and the Miami Heat to defeat the Indiana Pacers. And now the next matchup. It is the Boston Celtics facing off against the Philadelphia 76ers. Now this is the 22nd postseason meeting between the Celtics and the Sixers. The Celtics lead the all-time postseason series 13-8. to Now the Celtics have won the last four meetings against the Sixers back in 1985, 2002, 2012, and 2018. And the Sixers last beat the Celtics in the playoffs, listen to this folks, since the 1982 Eastern Conference Finals. So the Sixers have been waiting nearly 40 years to beat the Celtics in the postseason. Now starting off with the Celtics first, they're coming off the loss last year in the Conference Semifinals to the Milwaukee Bucks, and the Celtics team is coming in looking to be a big threat in the Eastern Conference playoffs. Now I gotta give a lot of credit to Brad Stevens, the coach of the Celtics, for having this team look really good. I mean, with the return of a healthy Gordon Hayward, the signing of Kemba Walker, the Celtics team looks to be a real deal in the Eastern Conference. you got great players on this team, like Jason Tatum, Jalen Brown, Marcus Smart, Kemba, and Gordon Hayward. As long as Gordon stays healthy, the Celtics team could be a big threat. There is idea of the Philadelphia 76ers coming off their loss in the conference semifinal game to the Toronto Raptors in seven games last year. And the 76ers are looking to continue the Philly magic with the Flyers being the number one seed in the Eastern Conference in the Stanley Cup playoffs. And with the, uh, the Phillies starting to get hot in the National League East, the Sixers are looking to continue the Philly magic. But right now, they are the most hurt team in the Eastern Conference. I mean, they lost Ben Simmons, looks like, for the rest of the po postseason. Joel Embiid is not... 100% and this Phillies team is coming in the walking wounded. Yes, they got great players like Al Horford and Glenn Robinson the third and Josh Richardson, but without M Embiid and Ben Simmons, it's going to be really hard to see the Sixers win maybe one or two games in this series. So coming from me, in this first round showdown between two Eastern Conference playoff rivals, if, it, if Joel Embiid plays, they have this series can definitely go six. If he doesn't play or Ben Simmons doesn't play, this series will be over in five. But coming from me, i got to go with the healthier team, and I'm going to go with the Boston Celtics to defeat the Philadelphia 76ers. And now the final first-round matchup in the Eastern Conference. On one side, you have the reigning Eastern Conference champions and the reigning and defending NBA champions, the Toronto Raptors, facing the Brooklyn Nets. Now, this is only the third postseason meeting between the Raptors and the Nets. Brooklyn has won the last two ma matchups against the Raptors squad all the way back in 2007 and in 2014 in the Eastern Conference first round. So the Raptors are looking to beat the Nets for the first time in the playoffs. Now, starting off with the reigning NBA champions, they're coming off their amazing year last year, defeating the Golden State Warriors to win their franchise's first NBA championship. And now the Raptors squad is looking to become the first Eastern Conference team since the Miami Heat to repeat as NBA champions. And this Raptors squad can definitely get it done. And I think they're the biggest threat to the Milwaukee Bucks once again this year. you got great players on this team, like Kyle Lowry, Serge Ibaka, Pascal Sikam, OG Anubwe, and Marcus Saul. So if anyone can be a big threat to the Bucks this season, it is the reigning champs, the Raptors squad. There is idea of the Brooklyn Nets making their return back to the playoffs for the first time in two years, and the Nets are looking to pull off a huge upset by knocking off the reigning NBA champions. But this Nets team coming into the bubble did not have Kevin Durant or Kyrie Irving or DeAndre Jordan. And I'm very, very interested to see if they're going to be back for the playoffs. Because, yes, they did opt out of playing in the bubble, but are, will they have a chance to make it into the playoffs? Because I think if they don't play, this series will be over in four. 
fast. Now, you got some great players. You got Wilson Chandler, Joe Harris, Caress Laverde, who had an amazing game against Portland on, um, on, on Friday in a losing effort. But this next team is going to need those three big players to play in this series, or this series is going to be over real fast. So coming from me in the final first-round matchup in the Eastern Conference, if Durant and Irving and DeAndre Jordan play, this series is going six. If they don't, this series is going to be over in a four-game sweep. So coming from me, I'm going to go with the reigning NBA champs, the Raptor squad, to defeat the Brooklyn Nets. And now on to the Western Conference with the number one seed in the Western Conference, the Los Angeles Lakers facing off against the Portland Trailblazers. Now this is the 12th postseason meeting between the Lakers and the Trailblazers. The Lakers lead the all-time series 9-2. Now the Lakers have won the last five postseason meetings against the Trailblazers dating back to 1997, 1998, the year 2000, 2001, and 2002. And the Trailblazers haven't beaten the Lakers in the postseason since the 1992 Western Conference first round. So the Trailblazers are waiting nearly 30 years to beat the Lakers in the postseason. Now starting off with the Lakers first, the Lakers are coming off one hell of a season and hell of a regular season. And now they are back in the playoffs for the first time in eight years. And they're looking to do something very special. Yes, winning the NBA champion is one thing, but winning an NBA championship for the late great Kobe Bryant is another. Because if you guys were, uh, you guys don't, rem don't know if you've been living under a rock, the late uh, Kobe Bryant died in 2020 in a helicopter crash with his daughter and this Lakers team is playing for him and I know a lot of people are picking the Lakers to win the NBA championship for Kobe Bryant the man who stayed with that team since he was a teenager he won multiple NBA championships with them and this Lakers team is looking to win it for him and you got some great players on this Lakers squad you got LeBron James who has playoff experience you got Anthony Davis who they picked up from the Pelicans you got Danny Green you got JaVale McGee you got Kyle Kuzma you got J.R. Smith and Another playoff experience player. This Lakers squad is looking to do it for Kobe Bryant. They're excited about the Portland Trailblazers coming off their victory over the Memphis Grizzlies in the play-in game. And the Portland Trailblazers are back in the playoffs after losing in the Western Conference Finals to the Golden State Warriors last year. And this Trailblazers team once again put had Damian Lillard put his team on his back. And they have to fight, scratch, and claw to get this final eighth spot in the last couple games of the bubble. And they definitely got it done on the back of Damian Lillard and Rip City was definitely in full effect. And this Portland Trailblazers team is looking to finally beat the Lakers in the playoffs for the first time in 28 years. Now, yes, they have Damian Lillard. They have C.J. McCollum. They got Carmelo Anthony, who just got caught fire in the bubble. And who would have thought that he still had it? You got Yusuf Nudic, who played in that game against the Memphis Grizzlies after losing his grandmother to the COVID-19 virus. You got Zach Collins. This Portland Trailblazers team is good, and I wouldn't be surprised the Lakers have a tough time with it. So coming from me in this Western Conference first round showdown, this one can go six, maybe seven, but coming from me, as much as I love Damian Lillard, and that guy is one hell of a talent in Portland, I have to go with the Western, the, the top team in the Western Conference, and that's the Los Angeles Lakers. They're doing it for Kobe, and it's going to be hard for me to pick against them this year. I am going to go with the Lakers to defeat the Portland Trailblazers. And now the next first round matchup between the Houston Rockets facing off against the Oklahoma City Thunder. Now this is the ninth postseason meeting between the Houston Rockets and the Thunder. The Thunder lead the all-time postseason series 6-2. to two. Now the Rockets' last victory over the Thunder in the playoffs, you got to go all the way back to the 2017 Western Conference first round. And the Thunder's last victory over the Rockets in the playoffs, you got to go all the way back to the 2013 Western Conference first round. Now starting off with the Rockets first, they're coming off their loss to the Golden State Warriors in the conference semifinals last year. And once again, the Rockets are looking to prove me wrong. They have a fantastic regular season, but when they come to the playoffs, they choke. They haven't won the NBA championship since Akeem and Kenny the Jet Smith won it back to back in 94 and 95. And I have been saying it for the last three years on this channel that the Rockets are a great regular season team, but when it comes to the postseason, they choke. And this year's Rockets team had a great regular season, but now we're going to see if they can prove me wrong and get a big, for, make a deep run into the playoffs once again. Now, you got some great players on this team, like James Harden. They added Russell Westbrook, so they got a dynamic duo with two of the most, uh, two of the best point guards in the game who can never take, uh, can never, uh, uh, what's the word? Can never pass the ball. They got to go for threes after threes after threes. A few twos there, here and there, but threes, 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 threes. You got PJ, PJ Tucker, Eric Gordon, Robert Covington, 
But we did hear that uh, Russell Westbrook may not play in this first round, which is a huge blow for the Rockets because they definitely need him to make this series a little bit more interesting. There is idea of the Oklahoma City Thunder coming off their loss to the Portland Trailblazers last, uh, loss in the first round last year, and they're looking to end their losing streak in the first round as well. Now, here's a dangerous fact. Since their last first round victory back in 2015, the Thunder are 0-3 in the first round, so they're looking to end this losing streak here and now. Now, this Thunder's team, even without uh, Russell Westbrook, made it to the playoffs. And i got to give a lot of credit to Billy Donovan, a guy who I watched in college when he was coaching in Florida. He definitely got this team, got it done. I mean, you got some great players on this team. you got Chris Paul, who looks like his career is back. Danelio Gallinari, Steven Adams, Shai Gregorius Alexander, Lou Getz Dort. I mean, you got some... You got some Interesting names in this Thunder's team, but when you got Chris Paul running it, this Thunder team can really pull off a huge upset. So coming from me in this Western Conference first round showdown, oh man, this series is definitely going six, maybe seven, but coming from me, I think even without Russell Westbrook, I'm going to go with the Houston Rockets to defeat the Oklahoma City Thunder. And now the next first round matchup featuring the Utah Jazz facing off against the Denver Nuggets. Now this is the fifth postseason meeting between the Denver Nuggets and the Utah Jazz. The Utah Jazz lead the postseason season series 3-1. to one. Now the Jazz have won the last two meetings against the Nuggets back in the 2010 Western Conference first round and the 1994 Western Conference semifinals. And the Nuggets are looking to defeat the Jazz for the first time since the 1985 Western Conference semifinals. So it's been a very long time for the Nuggets to beat the Jazz in the postseason. Now starting off with the Jazz first, they're coming off their loss in the first round last year to the Houston Houston Rockets and the Jazz are back in the playoffs. This Jazz team is looking to make a deep run into the playoffs. Now, they got some great players on this team like Mike Connolly, like Donovan Mitchell, like Joe Inglis, Ryan O'Neal, Rudy Gobert, Bojan Bogdanovic, and this Jazz team is looking to make a deep run. There you side, you have the Denver Nuggets coming off their loss to the Portland Trail Blazers last year in seven games in the conference semifinals. And this Nuggets team is looking to have a mile high, sh mile high run in the Western Conference playoffs. Now, this Nuggets team is really good. I mean, you got Jamal Murray, you got Gary Harris, you got Will Barton, Paul Millsap, Nikolai Jokic, the Joker, you got Bull Bull, the, the newest sensation, you got Michael Porter Jr., who, who played at uh, Missouri. This Nuggets team is. Quite possibly the Lakers' biggest, second biggest or third biggest threat in the Western Conference playoffs. So, coming from me in this Western Conference first round showdown, I can see this series going six, maybe seven, but coming from me, I'm going to go with Nikola Jokic, the Joker, and the Denver Nuggets to defeat the Utah Jazz. And now the final first round matchup in the 2020 NBA playoffs between the Los Angeles Clippers facing off against the Dallas Mavericks. Now the Clippers are back in the playoffs for the first time since 2018 and the Clippers are looking to end a long losing streak in the first round. Now here's another dangerous fact. Since their last first round victory back in 2014, the Clippers are 0-3 in the first round. So they're looking to end that losing streak here and now. Now the Clippers, for me, are the biggest threat in the Lakers not winning the NBA championship this year. And I know a lot of people are actually having the Clippers and the Lakers in the Western Conference Finals because the Clippers and the Lakers in the regular season was the the it rivalry. And when this Clippers team has got some great players. I mean, you got Paul George, PG-13. You got Patrick Beverly. You got Kawhi Leonard. You got Ivaka Zubak and Mar uh, Marcus Morris. This Clippers team is really good. Doc Rivers has done a fantastic job with the Clippers this year. And they are really the biggest threat to the Lakers and stopping the Lakers from winning another NBA championship. There is idea you have the Dallas Mavericks making their return to the playoffs for the first time since 2015, and they are looking to end a long losing streak in the first round as well. Now, here's another dangerous fact. Since their last victory in 2010, the Mavericks are 0-4 in the first round, so they're looking to end their long losing streak in the first round as well. But the Mavericks making the making the playoffs made one of my good friends on Twitter, Brian, at aka King underscore Donich, a Big uh, made him really happy because he's a he's a lifelong uh, Dallas Mavericks fan, and just to see the Mavericks back in the playoffs made him really happy. So shouts out to my boy Brian at King underscore Donich, and this Mavericks team is looking to pull off a huge upset. I mean, you got some great players on this team. You got Luka Donich, you got Steph, you got Steph Curry, Steph Curry's brother. You got Tim Hardaway Jr. You got Maxi Kluber. You got 
uh, you got Porzingis, the unicorn. And this Dallas Mavericks team is looking to pull off a huge upset against quite possibly the top, one of the top teams in the Western Conference. So coming from me, in this final first round matchup in the 2020 NBA playoffs, I can see this series going six, maybe seven, maybe even five. But coming from me... This could be a really good series, but coming from me, I have to go with the Los Angeles Clippers to defeat the Dallas Mavericks. And those are my 2020 NBA playoffs first round predictions. Now I want to thank you guys so very much for watching this video today. Comment below, who do you see moving on to the conference semifinals of this year's NBA playoffs? Do you see any upsets happening? And as always, represent your NBA teams in the comment section. Even if they didn't make the playoffs or they fell short in the bubble, still represent them. Let's have a conversation about it. And let me know, who is your, what is your potential NBA finals right now? Let's have a conversation about it. Of course, I'm always on to see your comment. Like it and of course, reply right back to me because comments are absolutely always welcome on us channel now i do want to thank you guys so very much for watching all of my videos that i put up on the channel this weekend thank you guys so very much now before you guys go as always you guys can never forget to do this that like button comment share with your friends of course super kick that like button like only you guys can of course you guys can never forget to do this as well that subscribe button become part of this bigger and dangerous Dangerous Alliance, we're on the road to 800 sub subscribers, and if you haven't subscribed yet, definitely super kick that subscribe button right now. And I will see you guys next week for my official New Japan Pro Wrestling Summer Strangle in Jingu 2020 predictions. Evil Naito 3, Ishimori Hiromu 2, and Dangerous Techers Golden Aces 2. Later days, guys. Stay safe and peace. The NBA is back.